Homework, a Marvel fanfiction written by Shiko underscore Barnes on AO3. You got a passport? Tony asked suddenly. Uh, no, I don't even have a driver's license. Ever been to Germany? Tony asked again. No, Peter replied, a little confused. Oh, you'll love it. I can't go to Germany, Peter said. Why? I, I got homework. I'm going to pretend you didn't just say that, Tony said, standing up. I, I'm being serious. I can't just drop out of school. It turns out that Peter really did have homework, and he brought it with him. It was an eight-hour flight, so why not? Happy said it was going to be just him and Peter in the jet, but Tony decided to join them at the last minute, and now here they were. Tony and Happy were talking, and Peter was doing his homework. After an hour and a little more, Tony noticed that he was struggling. He watched the kid carefully as he frowned and realized he was solving the problem wrong. Do you need help, kid? Tony asked. Peter quickly looked up and shook his head quickly. Then he gave Tony an awkward smile. It's all good, he spoke. Tony shrugged in return and started to talk with Happy again, keeping an eye on Peter. After a few more minutes passed, Peter sighed loudly. Uh, Mr. Stark, sir, he said hesitantly. Tony raised an eyebrow and offered him a smile. What is it, kid? he asked. Do you happen to be good at physics? he asked nervously. Tony smirked. Yeah, you're asking the right guy for help, he said, and got up. He walked over to Peter and sat next to him and looked at his homework. After the reading of the problem, he looked back at Peter. He picked up a pencil and began to solve the problem as he explained it to Peter. Then he watched Peter solve the next problem that was similar to the one he just explained. Peter solved it perfectly, but he struggled with two more questions, but with the help of Tony, he managed to solve them and finish his homework. Thank you so much, Mr. Stark, he said happily. You're welcome, kid. Just pass the test. I don't want to waste my time for you to fail, understood? He raised an eyebrow, but he was grinning. It was confirmed that he was just joking. Yes, sir, Peter said, smiling even more widely. On the exam day, he left a voicemail to Tony, saying he was nervous but confident for himself in the test. At the end of school, he left another short voicemail for Tony, confirming that he did well. After a week and a half, he left another voicemail to Tony. His voice was happy and excited. He was saying that he passed his physics test and several more tests that he was doing the homework about on the plane. He talked about his day too on that voicemail. He thanked Tony over and over again. Tony would never admit to anyone other than Pepper that he listened to that voicemail over and over again. He listened to it when he was angry or sad or happy. It didn't matter. Whatever the mood he had in that moment, Peter's excited voice was making it even better.